Okay, so we're here outside the Vitality Stadium with Morgan Scott in the flesh, 3 0 over Barnsley. How are you feeling about that, Morgan? Absolutely amazing. They didn't really praise any fat under pressure, did they, really? It was it was a really good performance, wasn't it? It was the in many ways the complete performance. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, it was really nice to get behind the boys and it was just nice to be back down at Dean Court and I think everyone was quite loud today. A stand out performance? Um, Jordan Tamora, a couple of goals, was really excellent and um he just and then the uh, the end, the Barnsley fan, they just wanted to walk away, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. How does this make you feel ahead of QPR? Because I think there was a lot of pressure for Scott Parker on this fixture as the winnable one. QPR, they've had a difficult fixture today against Reading. However, that must give the team so much momentum at, ahead of that fixture, surely. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought like it was just nice to see the boys back given 100%. And um, I thought Cahill fitted in really well, yeah. um, didn't put a foot wrong. And um, yeah, and all it's just nice to be and get Parker's win on your birthday. Mate. Thank you very much Thank for coming much. on. Really appreciate Cheers. it. Reese, mate, how are you, buddy? We got oh, Reese. Right. How are you, fella? <laughs> hey, mate. How are you doing, man? It's nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too, buddy. 3-0. Um, yeah. How are you feeling? We're going to piss the league. We're, literally the, we're a big, big club. We have the best players in the league. Come and we're, gonna, and we're literally going to win the league. Because we, we, we're literally going to piss the league. We're, HFS piss the league. Yeah. I mean, it was so much better today, wasn't it? Yeah. So we should have won 5-0. Yeah. Oh, we had so many ch- Especially that second half, we were creating so much, weren't we? We need, we need to utilise our opportunities more. Otherwise, we'll, well, we'll, the same thing will happen like last season. Like We need to take our opportunities on the plate. We missed a couple, like, I'd say five. Mm. But yeah, I'm very happy with the performance. And yeah, thank you very much, son. Nice talking to you. Mate, yeah, by the way, Cahill, didn't he slot in well? Amazing, amazing player. Absolutely best defender in the league. I don't care. <laughs> best defender in the league. I'm going to say this now, yeah? yeah. When the next time I come here, he, I'm going to say it again. He is the, the best defender in the league. No one else is better than Gary Cahill. Right. Well, that's amazing. Tiggs is coming in now. Uh, we got uh, Tiggs coming in. And yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. We got people coming in. Uh, Tiggs, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. We've got some more people here. Yeah, are you going to bring them in right now? Keith. Keith T. Oh, yeah, please tell me. Mate. Your cake. We'll talk about that later, eh? Anyway, we've got Tiggs and Keefy T. Come forward a little bit. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling after that, Keefy? Lovely. Really good performance. Lovely. Uh, JC, what a player today, defensively, attacking. Um, Jeff played really well. He dominated that midfield. And it was just so nice. We were actually aggressive and getting forwards and creating chances. OK, we could have put a few more away, but it's all about being attacking and... We just put them to the sword today. We could have gone four, five up. So I'm delighted, really delighted. The second half was really good, but the first half I felt as though, you know, we were both playing as good as each other, but we were just better in the final third, and that yeah. proved when we went one nil up. But in the second half, we completely dominated, didn't we? I can't yeah. really think of many chances. No, no. I mean that clean sheet speaks for itself, which is great. Uh, it's nice to hear people shouting, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah no, it's, I think we did really, really well in all areas, actually, of our game. Um, but yet, still not perfect. I mean, there's still quite a lot that we could work on there. So, on another day, as Keithley said, we could have been 5-0 up uh, if we'd taken all those chances. Brooks popping up in different spaces was nice. Brooks had a much improved game, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was swapping over as well. And we get that rotation. So, like, they obviously, they changed it during the first half. Went five at the bat and the man marking him. But he had the guile to realise oh I can go the other side as well and seen that little bit so I'd like to see a bit more of that but uh, solid at the back as well Cahill today um, a rock and um, yeah I, I, but Jay-Z where has yeah. he come well, from look, we were talking about Rico like who do we play <laughs> left back he was he was with us all along, mate. Missed out last season, he didn't was, we? Yeah, he Should was have been playing him. Well, the no. Man City game, if we remember, he played really well in that as well. So I like that you mentioned Cahill there, because actually his influence at the back, shouting, commanding, telling players to calm down, getting people to come closer, further away. You could see when a ball came over the head, he was talking to everyone around him. When that ball's coming, you've got to move in. It was really good to have somebody there just... just discussing with the other players about that line and yeah really good one thing I thought was the fact that we were we were very good in midfield yet Billing and Pearson probably mm. had quieter games I agree really agreed agreed but what, what the Pearson certainly second half starting to ping out those balls yeah. and all that and that triangle that we were talking about last week uh, Sam that came back in today so yeah they're quieter games but they were still 
giving us energy, giving us drive, attacking the half spaces Billy was. And Jeff was doing the same as well. So the first half, and that's how we create the goals. And our pressing was really good. Dom again, pressing hard, creating mistakes. And His work trouble. rate was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, great to see him get another goal. We've got quite a few so, people out here, Sam. So do you want yeah, some more? Yeah, yeah we'll get yeah, PK we'll, in. Tell you what, what's going on over there? Film that. Love it, love it. PK, oh, it's your party for your birthday. <laughs> How's it going? Very good. Have we got Have we got Noah in today? Hello, Noah. How are you? Good. Your favourite player is Dom Solanke. It's fair to say that he put in a good performance today, didn't he? Yeah. His favourite player is Phil Billig, actually. Well, you know, Phil Billig did all right today as well. But what did you think of that performance? Good. Good. Yeah. Favourite player then, Phil Bill? Did you say? Yeah. Okay. Who else gets top marks from you? Uh, Solanke. Dom Solanke, yeah, absolutely. And look, we could we could wax lyrical about a number of players today, couldn't we, Paul? We could. You've got Tiggs, you've got yourself, you've got Tom, Steve's here. I mean, it's brilliant. What a squad. What a squad we've got. No, it's amazing. I mean, it's a great game. Uh, it was, it's almost like it should have been at Blackpool, where we, we dominated the game and we got the result. You know, and the Blackpool felt a bit, second half felt really bad. But today... Both halves were really good. The difference is, was, is, I mean, experience with Cahill at the back obviously counts for a lot. Yeah, Cahill looked really good, actually, I must admit. I think he played very well. Yeah. Oh, these and... are all done! I was crying. I was crying. What the speed? The speed. Two goals. Perfection. Hey, the fans are amazing. Good day. Jay Z. We love you, Jerry. We love you, Jerry. What's the question? How good was he? He was amazing. Incredible. Two goals. Two goals. Unbelievable. That second goal. Unbelievable. That second goal. The sprint. You know what? The sprint. I thought he was going to square it, but he went for it. He went for it, man. Everything that happened, unbelievable. We're coming back Tuesday. Big brothers. We're back on Tuesday. Tuesday, another goal. Another win. Back of the net. We're back of the net. We're back of the net. Oi, shout out to back of the net, yeah. Jordan Zemrov, fuck it up. He's late. 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 He's how are you, mate? All right. Yeah, good. All right. A good performance today. Yeah, not bad, was it? I'm missing Rico, aren't you? Yeah, really missing Rico. missing Diego at that left back. You know, those guys are. I know. Oh, brilliant, mate. mate. wasn't that good. Well, we were saying second half, weren't we? It could have been any scoreline. I mean, that's flat. They're well happy to go home 3 0. Because we could have. Some of that football second half, as Willow would say, it was champagne football, wasn't it? But no, I enjoyed it, mate. It's, the, the players look like they enjoyed it, don't they? Even like Christy coming on cameo looked good. Brooksy was better today. I thought we looked better with Smithy behind him, a bit yeah. more balance. Kale come in, so you never worried about a Blackpool happening because I felt like Kale kept... And everyone was brilliant, mate. Super. And, yeah, you know, like you say, it was the balance to have an, yeah. an informed Brooks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there. look, 3-0 flattered Barnsley yeah, based on that second-half performance. When Smithy flashed it across the box, there were so many times where well, the we had chances side, to make... Yeah. Yeah, they, so, you know what? Well, we could have we could have ended up 5 or 6-0, exactly. but there's a lot of good things for Scott Parker now to think about ahead of QPR. Who drew today, did they? Was that a draw? Uh, yeah, they drew 3 all at Reading. So, we're two of the uh, few teams that are unbeaten. Fulham lost at Blackpool. So, us and QPR are both unbeaten. Massive game. Just behind Stoke and West Brom at the moment, us two. So it's a big win that. I mean, I didn't think much of Barnsley, but I think we deserve the credit. So I thought we were really good today. And I felt we forced them into mistakes. Our pressing was very good. Um, you know, from Anthony, you know, Billy, they all press pressing really well. Um, hey, but in it, you know what? It's so nice when you've got a full crowd and you've got a 12th man, but we also had a 13th man, by the way, of their keeper, Collins. What was he all about? I don't know what. He, he was absolutely appalling, wasn't he? And even wow. at the end, he's given Lerma some because he just, he just rattled, didn't he? He didn't know what was going on, bless him. But ever since he spilt it for Solanke's goal. But we put pressure on them. We forced with errors all day long. And the keeper was another one. But um, brilliant from, from back to front, mate. Uh, uh, clean sheet as well. Good for Travers. Everything was just bang on, wasn't it, really, mate? Easy, isn't it? We'll go get Matt. Matt's here as well. well All right. Right. Very good. How are you? Really pleased with that. A bit, bit of I mean, composure, tactical composure now. This is what we like to see. Well, it was tactically composed, but overall, I thought we we dominated. I mean, I was really, really disappointed in Barnsley. I'm not, you know, not disappointed as such, but I thought they they were really poor, and I'm sure their fans will say the same. But we got the job done. We were very organised. I think with Lerma and Pearson um, holding, 
that gives us solidity and Gary Cahill superb at the back and that's what we've lacked leadership at the back I mean he was talking all game he was organising all game and um, with the greatest respect we've, we've missed that we were comfortable all game we showed our quality it should have been more it probably should have been six or seven to be fair but got to be pleased 3-0 get the job done we're on our way and just and just a hat tip to our left back I mean unbelievable before. Wow. <laughs> I must be honest first game of the season against West Brom I thought when he started I thought and, and probably for the first half an hour I thought he's out of his depth here he's struggling he's really grown I mean he's coming on game by game in leaps and bounds and he's really coming on he looks amazing today man of the match by a country mile could have probably had a hat trick he was all over the place attack defence all round game showed maturity for his age brilliant stuff great performance overall got to be pleased bigger test probably Tuesday night against QPR but bring it on we're in the mix love it we're having it it. Matt thanks very much Sammy hi Sam happy birthday to you shut up Happy birthday to you. This is embarrassing. Happy birthday to Sam. Happy birthday to you. Let's talk about the game. <laughs> I came right, in at the wrong right. point there, yeah. didn't I? That's embarrassing. It was um, that performance wasn't embarrassing, though, was it? No, it was all right. It was all right. I mean, they, weren't, right? Great. they weren't great, though, were they? So no, they weren't. they didn't weren't. really test us, but we did play well. So yeah. Mind you, the first few minutes, I was a bit like, uh, it's going to be a boring match. But no, it turned around. It was all right. It did, and that second half of Hawks especially. It, it was, was so yeah, good, did say, we? Yeah, we, were we were creating really chances, good. so many chances, and really, to have only scored two in the second half, one of which was through keeper error, you're yeah. kind of thinking, how did we not score more? I know, I did. I was like, we should have been at least two or three more goals, yeah. definitely, definitely. But I will admit, in the last like minute, I really wanted them to score, <laughs> and because... <laughs> The three one, but yeah, no, we can't really complain. It that was good. So yeah, it was really good, and it was nice to see like Christy and Jamal Lowe come on as well to see what they were like, and they did well as well when they yeah. came on. So amazing, all good. Sammy, all good. three one. We'll take a three one against QPR as well. Right? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. We love that, Aaron. <laughs> Come on. How are you? All yeah, right. Is, yeah. And the kids as well. Love that. Jo- are you coming on as well? Josh is out. Oh, okay. So, anyway, how are you? Yeah, loving that. Absolutely loved it. Um, joy to watch, wasn't it? You know, I think 3 0 flattered them. I think uh, your favourite 90 minutes of the season? Well, definitely, 100%. You know, we never, they never looked like scoring. Against Blackpool, you know, when they got one back, even at 2 0, I didn't sort of think, oh, if they get one, they didn't look like it. It was going to be a matter of how many were going to score. And the combinations all over the pitch, you know, it was Lerma and Pearson together, but. Pearson just mocked everything up, just sat there and just did the simple things. Lerma was up and down with his engine and, um, and Billing was just instrumental again. And it's just everywhere all over the pitch. Pearson didn't do anything extraordinary though, did he? No, there was, he one, just... there was one reverse ball to Anthony in the second half, the first time he pinged it. He's got that ability. But what he does is, with so many attacking players ahead of him, you don't need him. He just needs to mop up in front, and, and that's what he does. And it's interesting because you know we're wondering who's going to be who's going to get into that midfield three. Um, it's going to be a big competition for places. I thought Cahill was great as well. Well, the whole back four were good. Um, it adds some height, experience, um, and yeah, it was just you know it was just a real joy to watch. Which players impressed you today? Uh, I think Zamora played really well. Um, I thought Cahill was really good captaining. We wasn't the captain, but I thought he played, played really well. Yeah. And Brooks, improved performance from him, do you think? Uh, yeah, I think Smith helped him a lot on the right, and um, I just thought he played really well. He created he just, loads of chances. I mean, he's got Christy breathing down his neck now, or you know, other players coming on, so he has to up his game. But, it's yeah. the first time he's had some real competition, so maybe yeah. he's going to start performing. Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, as I said, all over the pitch, <laughs> they've they've all got players who can come in and play for them. Um, yeah and that's going to hopefully improve. Brilliant. Yeah. Aaron, thanks very much. Thanks, thanks very, very much, much lads. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Kirk, do you want to come on? Come on. Here he is. You know, the only person to say who's ballsy enough to wear shorts. I love this. He, he doesn't care. Wait, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. I said three goals. I went for 3-1, but didn't I say that we haven't had a defender score this yeah, yeah. season yet? So, well, well done, Jay-Z at the double. We could have played him all our season. We would, have, we would try and Rico and have him Smith there, and he was there all along. Wherever Tyndall is, he's probably sitting thinking, I could have thrown him in in that January spell and given him a shot, um, and he definitely deserved it. But he's come in. Leif Davis has come to Bournemouth thinking he's going to get that game time. He's probably sitting on the bench thinking, when am I going to play? Should have probably stayed with Leeds on the 23s at this rate. Um, but JC got player of the month last 
month uh, voted by the club and a uh, great start to this month. Mm. Really good performance. QPR then, he's got a bit of a headache, has he? Or not really? Is it a case of playing the same guys? I mean, you thought that Cahill might come in for one of them. Does that make, uh, Would he switch that centre-back too? Because they look so strong, I thought. Yeah, I was so 50-50 with Cahill when he came in. I mean, I looked at his age and thought, really? We've already got Cookie. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I didn't think we needed him. But to be fair, I looked at Cahill, watched him early on, and if he didn't, if Lloyd Kelly didn't have his captain's armband on, yeah, you yeah. thought probably Cahill was captain. The way he was orchestrating from the back yeah. and the way he's, he's vocal, so vocal. I didn't see this in Cahill. He was really economical with his movement as well. Yeah. Like, you see him, like he doesn't run far, but you know he's in the perfect position every time. Yeah, I mean, my question is always how many games he'd play at 35, 36, um, and Mecham's great start to the season. Yeah. But um, I'd probably go with that partnership. And actually, I thought Lloyd Kelly looked yeah. even better and I don't know whether that's because of Cahill um, but they, they definitely played very well today but we'll have to see it a lot more obviously mate thanks for coming on no all right. Thanks, I really, really sure. appreciate it Dan Jerron how are you um, and we've got Ethan coming in after so I think that'll yeah. be... mate 3-0 yeah it, I mean it was quite quite different to, to Hull wasn't it yeah I think um, quite, quite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of an understatement yeah. uh, everything was better um, admittedly I think Honestly, were awful, um, but yeah, everything. I can't say anyone had a bad game. I think there were obviously a couple mistakes in there, but so much better. I think the international break's done us a whole lot of good, and um, I've been saying it for ages. Some more. I said it all last season. I said I needed more game time, and this is why. Um, and he starts every time now. I, I don't think anyone can dispute <laughs> that. Um, so brilliant result, and hopefully we, we've got a, a tough game on Tuesday. So yeah. same of that. Same, same as that. Same Dan, as that, yeah. thanks for Andre. Are you going to make a debut with Dave? The singing maestro Dave. Oh, it's your birthday. Footballing it maestro. Today? It's actually today, yeah. Well, happy, happy Thank birthday. you very much. Is it 40? Well, yeah, yeah it's 40, 40 yeah. yeah. I was going to po- uh, postpone it due to coronavirus, but no, it, it Should is Should we be issue. hugging then or not? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, well, we have steam rooms together. <laughs> yeah, we have steam rooms together. Don't talk about that. Um, that's that's going to be tomorrow night. Oh, no, you're not playing. No, I've got to take the young um, one back to the uni anyway. You don't want to hear all that. No, 3 0. Uh, Good performance. Yeah, they looked um, like they didn't really have much at all. You know, shame for Barnsley. Come all this way. Yeah. They looked really slow up front. And, um, you know, once you got 2 3 up, it was quite comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Yeah. So, very, very Don't comfortable day for yeah. the full of Bournemouth defence. Yeah. Didn't have much to do at all. It did it all very well. So, and a, and a goal for the uh, new boy as well. Yeah. Uh, standout performers that aren't Jordan Zamora because everyone's talking about him. Yeah. Left back. I mean, but you know there were some. Smith played well. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. shout. Good, yeah. good yeah. shout. Yeah, good yeah. shout. And can't really fault yeah, anyone there. really. Yeah. Travers didn't have ben much Pearson. to do really. Yeah. Ben Pearson. Yeah, Pearson. yeah. Ben Pearson. Yeah. Ben Pearson. Ben Pearson. Ben Pearson. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on. Well, thank you very much. For, yeah. for a debut. Make, I hope we make the cut. <laughs> yeah, of course you will. This is, what did the, you make of it? This is a rolling thing. Just uh, you, what did know? I think? I thought it was a very good performance, yeah. but, you know, very yeah. accomplished. Yeah. First half, I thought we made a meal out of it. Yeah. The second half, I thought we could have had a hatful. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's a very good performance. There were phases where all the passing, they play, and you think they're going to take the shot, another layoff, another layoff, and get a goal from it. And that's yeah. where Bournemouth are a different level to Barnsley, yeah. isn't it? There's always another option coming, you know, and yeah. Overlappers was seemed to be like the old days. Yeah, it was. More, yeah, and you know Zamora was pushing forward so far. Yeah, you know, and like in the like, first half there was a great move. And there were two crossfield balls, yeah. and it was just like we were just picking yeah. it across, like yeah. Manchester City or something. Yeah. But anyway, happy with that performance. Thank you very much for coming on. No, really really appreciate yeah. it. But like, Ethan's here as well. Ethan Burney, Cherry's legend. See you later. Hello, Hello Cherry's legend. How Hello. are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good, mate. Um, that was a good day. Yeah, very positive. Better today, hopefully. Much better, better than Hull, eh? Yeah, yeah. Much better than Hull. What was different? What was different for you? Uh, Backline, really. Cahill in. Made much difference to the experience as well. He was my man of the match. Cahill was your... Yeah, <clears throat> I, you know, I thought so too. I mean, it could... Like, lots of people have gone for Zamora, but obviously yeah. that's fairly obvious. But yeah. great to see him getting forward and scoring a couple of goals like yeah. that. That was a really good shift from him. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, today's on points, finishing, defending, quite well, clean sheet as well, mm. so all good around really. QPR, yeah. that's going to be a difficult one yeah. on Tuesday, they're unbeaten as well, yeah. due today against Reading, but do you think we'll have enough? Yeah, I think we'll have enough, start Cahill again, give him like a chance and then 
we start and we'll be all right, I think. Love it. Thank you very much. Thank Ethan, you. Bernie, thank you so much. Really appreciate you being on. We've got Andy here as well, who's going to be with us as well. Andy Jennings. If you want a tactical breakdown, this is your man to listen to. Not sure. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Good yeah, to see you. Yeah, good, mate. Nice good to back. see you. Yeah. Um, good. That yeah, very good. pleased. Very pleased. Uh, went to Hull, so it was a nice... Just yeah, some positivity. Yeah, hell, yeah. Some positivity going forward today. Uh, still a few frustrations here and there, but very nice to get through a game where the opposition just didn't register a chance. Um, defensively, I'm sure everybody said it. Cahill looks very calm, voice of uh, solidity there at the back. Nice to see. Fullbacks, obviously Zamora's had a career day. Smith looked quite solid. Just, just looked better organised. Um, enjoyed it. Just nice to be relaxed and scoring the goal straight out of the blocks after the half time was just perfect time to score. Um, Lerma I quite like in the advanced role um, it was almost like an exhibition game with some of his passing at times and his shooting but to see him on the front foot I think it is actually a strength for him and um, the only frustration I have is, is David Brooks where I sit just here in the main stand he's right in front of me on the touchline hard to the touchline all the way through that first half and he gets the ball on the touchline and he's expected to beat a man but he's got a long long way to go to goal and he's clearly been told to stand on the touchline and at times it reaps benefits, but an awful lot of the time he's just a passenger in the game. And well, that's what we saw at Hull, he was a passenger for large parts of the game there. Um, when it works out, as we did with the first goal today, it's, it's, it's clearly a real positive. But it's just a source of a little bit of frustration. Nice to see the new lads get on. Um, Christy looks like he's got a bit of um, Scottish competitiveness about him, which is good. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. We'll see how Tuesday night goes. Yeah, lovely All right. stuff. All right, thank Thanks, you very Sam. much for coming Cheers. on. And also, we've got Rob here as well. So, we'll, in fact, we'll go to it. How are you, Rob? Hello, all right. Nice to see you, buddy. Long time no see. Yeah, How's things, yeah. right? That's really good. Really decent, good, thank you. A decent performance, eh? Hey? Totally dominant, really, wasn't it? I, I mean, thought it was superb. It was just, when it was 2-0, I thought, well, it's game over. Yeah. And a really good game. Zamora, brilliant player. Absolutely, yeah. He was, he was incredible, wasn't he? He did he such was. a good job. Was, but they all did in the end. You know, I thought it was accomplished. I can't remember Travers having a shot to save, to be honest. No, no. It was, um, it was... It, it was really good. We seem to have a bit of balance this time. But Gary Cahill from the back. A lot of people. I mean, where did you stand on Gary Cahill signing? Were you pro, anti, or because there were some people I'm, that thought I'm pro any signing that we make, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. Yeah. You know, but if we compare it to maybe Blackpool, we just looked so assured at the back. You know, and I thought when we were one nil up at half time, I thought, you know, remember Blackpool? We we sort of slacked off and, point, at the back. Yeah. You know, but this time there was none of that. I don't think Cahill would allow that. We yeah. were just we were just so confident at the back. Yeah. It looked the right back four. Yeah, no, it really did. And, you know, we were clinical when it mattered. QPR then, it's a, it's a big match on Tuesday night now because they're unbeaten as well. So are we, how do you feel that one's going to go? Uh, you never know with QPR. They're a very good side. And I think I, I'm really looking forward to it, whatever the outcome. And I think, you know, we played really well today and you look at the bench and you think, well, there's some strength there. Rogers came on, mm. Jamal Lowe. Rogers, first touch, he looked like he was really, you know, up for it. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. When's, Can't wait to come back. When's your next away game? Um, Cardiff away next Cardiff week. away. Yep. So we got some footage from you from the Nottingham Forest match yep. as part of Access Advisor. Yep. If you want to check that channel out, we'll put the link in the description. And um, yeah, doing some incredible things. Love and, the free plug, um, thank you. Yeah, no, no problem at all. But what's your experience with Cardiff? Have you been there before? Yeah, I went there before. Um, good stadium, looking yeah. forward to going back again, you know. Um, I'm more looking forward to it than Peterborough on a Tuesday or Wednesday <laughs> yeah. night or when it, whenever it is. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Peterborough, I haven't been to for years, so yeah. it'll be nice to go there as well. Rob, thanks very much for coming on. Pleasure. Really appreciate it. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank That's you. Rob Trent. Love it. And remember, if you want to get your videos on the channel and you weren't able to get here today, then you can submit them via video format. Landscape, please. Send them via Telegram Messenger. Links are in the description below. Also, you can do it via our Facebook page and email fans at ASCBpodcast.com. If it's too big to email, just pop it on WeTransfer. And we'll get on the second look, which is tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Oh, the cherries 3-0. Love it. <laughs>